Okay, go kart summary time. <coughs> hey, wait, guys, don't. You guys don't have to be in it. Just don't. Uh... Don't give me a hard time here, will ya? Okay, y'all. <coughs> They're bored because it was before their time. It's lucky thirteen for 9/11 anniversary. You got her. The subpoena has been filled in court court. Bear with me a minute. It's just coming on the uh, the mini skycast there. I will read it out to you. We're in on September 10th, 2001. USA Secretary of Defense, Press Secretary, release for September 12th, 2001, concerning Pentagon 2.1 trillion US dollars, missing and unaccounted for Joint investigation. Pentagon based JAG. Office number West Wing. Joint FBI liaison. Evidence locker. World Trade Center. Building 7. Floor. Room. Concerning primary motive behind plane number four hijacked with three plastic box cutter knives according to official lines. Oh, wait a minute. We're getting a little bit of interference from that massive fucking filament that just uh, let go about 45 minutes ago on uh, Seoul. Bear with me, I'll, I'll ad lib because I have a pretty good idea seeing how I'm, I was the primary witness. <clears throat> okay, so. Plane number four that fucked up and ended up in a field. Well, guess where it was heading been decoded from the flight recorder. Yeah, building seven! Well, go figure! Now why would they want to do that? Oh, fuck, man! They had, they had all that evidence from the missing 2.1 trillion, some say 2.3 to misdirect you on the internet, trillion dollars missing from the Pentagon in 2001! Yes! Oh, no! Not, not where! Oh, no! Oh, wait a minute, the plane didn't hit. Oh, okay. That uh, Joint Commission evidence is still in Building 7. Oh, no problem. Hey, isn't that that famous guy, uh, Larry, uh, Lucky Larry, uh, just... Just, uh, just, um... Uh, pull it, just pull it! Yeah, it's Lucky Larry, just pull it, Silverstein! This is ever a fucking lucky day to have him show up for the court readings. Hey, what? <laughs> okay, guys, okay, 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 I get it. Guys, it's stay back there. Are you coming in closer? They're gonna rip your fucking balls off and stuff them down your fucking throat, you fucking bastard. Yeah, so, uh, anyhow, um... Yeah, we're just talking about the disposition of your Building 7 there, Larry. That was your first lease on the World Trade Center, wasn't it? Yeah, you sure did make good with the government contracts on leasing out that surplus space. Hey, you got anything to say about the fact those uh, Towers 1 and 2 were uh, 
condemnable after the uh, FBI bombed it back in, uh, uh, what was that, 1980, uh, no, 19, 1996 or 98, was it? You know, when they blew up the, 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 the rented truck bomb there uh, in the basement of the World Trade Center and, and then damaged its uh, foundation, the, uh, what do you guys call it, the bathtub on, uh, on Fox? The bathtub. Take your Cipro now. Bathtub. Okay, I don't want to overload you with information here, you know. So we'll just keep repeating the same thing over and over again until you all get it. Okay? <laughs> okay? Yeah, no, no, we were talking about the fact that you had to deal with the uh, loose asbestos from the... Uh, from the uh, original World, World Trade Center bombing there. Yeah, well, th that's a good point, Larry. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know, you got screwed on the lease in the first place. You had, you had no idea all this stuff was gonna happen. And then you got stuck with a lemon, an empty fucking lemon. Well, I had to be condemned because of a crack in the foundation. Yeah, I know, I know. I know, it's, it's not, you're just a victim of circumstances, and you, you did what any, anyone would do. It didn't matter what they are. A blade of grass, a dog, a coconut, talking monkey, human, homo sapien. You tried to survive. So did your corporation. I know, it had total control over you. <clears throat> you do you want to talk... Do you want to rehash that original footage, word for word? Where you were telling the... Just pull it then, you got my authorization. I'm sorry you got screwed on the insurance for Building 7 because you authorized the demolition and stuff. Well, anyhow, um... I can see we're not getting our reception back here, so, uh... Uh, what are you doing for, uh, commemorating the, uh, the 9-11 scandal? I mean, I don't know what to come... It's like somebody took all the scandals of the past and cherry-picked them and made a mega-scandal or something. One last final capstone to forever consolidate all them North Americans that escaped from the kings and queens in Europe and thought they was gonna make themselves freedom! Freedom in the new world, or the new land. I mean, just fucking get that shit in the fucking butt before they start pulling that on the new fucking Earth on Mars, eh? Get the fuck back on the plantations, you motherfuckers. We only let you go because we were being forced to pay for your asses that we were starving out. We thought we could kill you all then and get away with it, and some bastard came along and held us strictly liable for our, our slaves, our sharecroppers. Yeah, we were just giving you some furlough from the plantation there to go and tidy up North America for us. Uh, no, 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 no. We got a new place for you, boy. We have to whack you on the fucking head and you're going to fucking Mars. Yeah. Yeah, well, you guys get the picture, eh? <clears throat> All right, so, um... There you have it. There's your question. Just where was plane number four headed and why? We know about the parts they faked in. Why did they fudge the fact that why ever it crashed where it did? Was it the solar storm fucked up the drone autopilot? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, and we'll just end on that note, guys. What? Oh, 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 wait a minute, one more thing. Happy Carrington Solar Storm Day! Yes, 19, or 1859. September, well, about September the 2nd, about now it was... Our heavenly host was pouring out Creator's milk all upon the earth. From the head to the tail and everything in between. Well, actually, you build up enough of a charge, and well, you know, like a tracks, and kind of pulls it in, whatever makes it through the magnetosphere. 
you are correct in your speculations. It is still, you need three interlaced fields to smack Thor's hammer. And well, the one is the natural ambience, the two is charging the earth and, okay. Now you have to set up a secret. At one end to power this conduit. Alright, see what I'm getting at? And we'll just leave it there. Peace out, y'all. And um, I wish you all the most of closure on your military's involvement. I mean, most of those guys have long since either been retired and escaped to their other country of nationality, uh, of dual citizenship, or been exed or croaked or terminated or called off in the field or whatever. So, how many years do you need to clean house? <coughs> Because, like, I um, mean, you can't heal that up. You're not. You're not ready to serve life out. And we need somebody to take the dog's kite. And whilst they're sentient, they don't got these things. But a few other things that you little fucks are gonna need to do some terraforming. Right, stay here, you die. You know what Reg Rock's about. You got a date with Farron's brother thanks to all your nuking. It would have just took on the moon originally, but you upset the heavenly order, you fucking homo sapien talking monkey bastards. So anyhow, you're out of the Garden of Eden. Get your asses going and start serving life. Yours first, just like every other life form. But do it mindfully and wisely, and you'll know just how much we all are one. And why, if you want any chance at all of surviving or getting help, you're gonna start serving life to all life forms, even those you don't like. I'll tell you again. The only thing this fucking vastness out here needs is life. It's the only thing it can't do so well on its own. Preventing extinction and spreading it. Never ever to take it again. Needlessly.